Good afternoon. My name is Sean Bryant, president of Penn Care Regional Distribution Center for Emergency Medical Equipment, Ambulance Sales, and Homeland Security Equipment. On April 24th, we had the privilege and the ability to uh, travel to Wexford, the northern suburb of, in Pennsylvania, to witness a mass casualty incident simulation from a collaborative effort of a variety of different agencies throughout the Pennsylvania area, primarily the EMS Regional Councils, Region 13 Homeland Security Division, and the Allegheny County Hospital Association. This event was designed to test all those agencies' capabilities, both on the outside as at the incident site, um, having the patients transported from the incident site to a field hospital, which had been designed and purchased and also set up on this day, and then move the patients as they are evaluated to the greater hospital system down in Pittsburgh. You will see a variety of different products here that are designed to provide care and also provide facilities to uh, not only the patients but also to the participants of the drill throughout the three-day event. The patients were initially transported from the incident site into a portable hospital system that was designed for a three-step process initially to be evaluated and triaged, sorting the patients by their injuries secondly moving them to a holding area if they were not critically injured and lastly moving them to an intensive care area if they required care for life-threatening injuries. The second area that was involved was the preparation area. Actually had some volunteers sign up to be patients that they simulated injuries with them. It's called a moulage kit and as you see these patients throughout the video prior to being transported into the incident site and moved to the field hospital they were simulated with injuries whether it be burns or cuts or wounds so the ability to treat those patients was more realistic. Okay. Within this vehicle we have the ability to communicate with the outside world either landline, cellular or satellite uh, depending on what phone you would pick up it'll hunt in that fashion so it finds a signal to get your call out. That's one of the, the, the ways this place is programmed. In this particular room, it's a nine position emergency operations center. It can be used predominantly for planning and or you know, developing plans as, as you would in the situation room. Uh, additionally, we have the capability from Mayor David sitting from the left, uh, the weather monitoring, the situation of awareness via the various cameras. We control those cameras from here. Right now, we're watching the triage point, the red tent. Wow. You can also watch, we're watching the parking lot, the security, we can actually spin it down and look at the ambulance staging. Huh. So we can actually watch what they're staging and things like that. So we have the ability to help with situational awareness. Dave is sitting here in one of the positions, in a planning position, and he's responsible for weather updates and safety issues and working directly with the safety officer in the field. And so he's doing weather, he's watching weather, working with the National Weather Service to ensure that if we, because of the weather we currently are having, if it becomes a, a weather issue or a lightning issue, he will have the authority, he has the authority to stop the exercise immediately. Wow. Uh, they work with the safety officer. We also have telephone communications and radio communications in this room, depending on what's needed and what's going on at that point in time. So you're scanning all the Allegheny County? No, uh, we're just listening to a couple main things. But you had that ability in here to listen to all of Allegheny County? That's up. Okay. Uh, low band, VHF high, UHF 800 plus some encrypted stuff. Uh, wow. So it works well. Has a plotter. Additionally, there's a phone system that is a basically become our own telephone company. We can get eight, seven phones out and actually have a closed circuit uh, phone system. These, the interesting part of all of this. I assume you buy that plot just like this. No. You put this in yourself? This, some of this thing, yeah. But this was all designed by the chief by Chief Hull and, and, and others. This is what's called an ACU-1000. It gives us the ability to take these radios and interconnect them at the various levels, frequencies, and whatever. So if you show up and you have one radio band, mm -hmm. we put it on one radio and we put something else on the other radio, and they push the magic buttons here, we can connect them all together. And I believe Nextel can also be part of that. Uh, as we move this way, we have basically the electronics for the servers and the electronics for the vehicle itself. 
it has a separate generator that the rear is running off of, uh, separate HVAC systems, the whole nine yards. And so really, we're, we're, this is the, the, the brains of the outfit. On this side is the telephony box, basically. It talks about the ground lines, the, the cell phones, and the satellite. We have actually eight cell signals coming in now. Uh, that once again, it'll pick out what it needs to function. Here, this really is the 911 center of the, the, the vehicle. We can do everything, including taking 911 calls to an orbit location, to utilizing the radio system and computer aid dispatch. The, the, t the telecommunication officers at our 911 center can relocate in here and have the same functionality here as they do at their desk in the, in the brick and mortar facilities. And so it works significantly well for a lot of the events. Once again, there's other radio communications along with it, uh, the consoles themselves. Nice.